Lincoln's tone is dignified, which is partly achieved by starting with the biblical language of fourscore. It echoes Psalm chapter 90, verses 10 through 12 in the King James Version of the Bible. Lincoln appeals to our sense of reason. He explains why Gettysburg is important, helping us understand why men fought. Lincoln makes an appeal to patriotism by stressing the people who founded the nation in 1776 with the Declaration of Independence. Lincoln omits any reference to slavery, since it was a divisive issue, with nobody agreeing on the best way to approach the topic. Also missing is any reference to females contributing to the nation's past history and current struggle. Brave men are mentioned, but not their mothers, sisters, and daughters. Lincoln develops a progression that everyone can follow. A nation was born, it lived more than fourscore years, it suffered a kind of death during civil war, it is reborn in a way that will be immortal, not perish. He looks at the past, present, and future, a progression that is easily followed. The word dedicate is key. It is used five times in a short speech. The word stands out. The speech is almost a poem based on birth, death, and rebirth. Birth is alluded to here, conceived, brought forth, created, and fathers. Towards the end, Lincoln uses a string of clauses that begin with that. It's good parallelism. Sophisticated sentence structures sustain the lofty tone. The Gettysburg Address is never silly, vindictive, frivolous, or trivial. Lincoln refers to the Declaration of Independence when he says we are a nation dedicated to an equality principle. This was new. Today we are used to the words nation and equality, but Americans used to be loyal to states without interest in nationhood or equality. Nobody prior to Lincoln said that equality is at the heart of the Declaration of Independence. Equality was not central to the original Constitution. Inequality was built into that document shaped by political compromises. By saying the Declaration is dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal, Lincoln offered a new interpretation of Jefferson's old document. That equality is a key principle of our government gained traction with Lincoln's speech, and we have added amendments to our Constitution that place emphasis on equal rights. You could say Lincoln corrected our faulty Constitution without overthrowing it. Lincoln did that by saying we are a single people dedicated to the principle of equality. We started to add amendments to make that come true. Or you could say Lincoln changed America by elevating the Declaration of Independence to a higher place as a guiding light. In previous decades, politicians had not been looking to the Declaration for guidance. Lincoln's speech avoids proper nouns. God is in some versions that survive in manuscript form, but is absent in others. By staying abstract, the language becomes philosophical. The speech is short, but not all sentences are short. The last sentence has 82 words, a third of the speech. Lincoln delivered the speech on November 19, 1863, at the dedication of the Soldiers National Cemetery in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The battle had been fought four months earlier. Lee's final assault involving Pickett's charge into the center was on July 3, 1863.